a new sport called canoe polo is set to make a splash in local waters. It's part canoeing and part water polo. And Singapore even has a national team here to compete in tournaments. Eight years ago, canoe polo was a new fad, played on a small scale in tertiary institutions. Equipment was expensive and most players stopped playing after graduation. Now what started as a simple after-school activity has developed into something more. Today is the first day that both the men's and ladies team are training together as a national team under the wing of a brand new coach. They are gearing up for the Asian Championship in Taiwan this November and next year's World Championship in Japan. The coach has some targets. For the girl, can get a bronze. For the boy also can get a bronze. Because at the moment, the, uh, in Asia, the, the sport is not that popular. And uh, the stronger team at the moment, I believe, is Taiwan and Japan. Canoe polo is played by two five-a-side teams. The goal is to get a water polo ball into a hoop, but scoring won't be that easy as players can try to sink their opponents by tipping them over. The team is still getting its act together as equipment is still being brought in. Hopefully in two or three years' time, we are able to uh, be among the top in Asia. And probably I hope to take this team to the World Championship. What I hope to do actually is to source out Okay, to, get, to actually gain more knowledge la, with, on, about this sport and um, maybe uh, get foreign talent over. For now, it is still an uphill paddle for the 28-strong group. Sherwin Lowe, Straits Times TV.